Hi folks, today we're going to look at Inventor, um, get started, how to get started in Inventor. We're going to look at the user interface. I'm learning this too, so bear with me. So the first thing you need to do to get a file open and started, you need to go to open up, uh, double click on your icon on your desktop, which I've already done. And then we want to go to the, um, on the create up right here where it says file. You want to go down um, and you want to create a new file. So get started. You want to go here to new file dialog box and create new. Now that takes a few minutes to get it opened up. And once it's open, as you can see in this new, this other dialog box here, we have uh, templates placed in here. So um, now the next thing we need to do is we want to select our standard template here. At least this will create 2D and 3D objects uh, for part. We have assembly and then we have AutoCAD, but for right now, let's go create. Now this takes a little bit of time, it's loading up. And what we want to look at is a user interface here. So now we're in our um, user interface. So here we have our ribbon on the top. So this is our file menu here. Just go through these. And these are tabs, just like we have in Ribbon. We have our search box. And then we have our tools, which will be here. And then we have panels and ribbon and then we have also drop downs and then we have our view cube here our navigation bar and our orientation coordinate system coordinate system and down below we'll have a status bar which will be right here so now let's look at the ribbon here in our ribbon the ribbon is located on the top of the window, it consists of various tabs. When you click on the tab, a set of tools will appear. So, um, this is our 3D. But let's look at our Get Started tab. So, in our Get Started tab, you'll see here you have new, open projects, and so on and so forth. And then let's go to our 3D uh, model tab model ribbon tab and then we have 3d elements such as extrude these are all your 3d features playing services and so on and then we'll go and look at our view ribbon so our view ribbon uh contains you know the modified display the model user interfaces things such as uh, visual styles textures and everything else here so now next we'll look at the inspect ribbon tab and here you measure object it also analyzes tools to analyze the draft curvature surface and so on that's what this inspect tab does then next we'll look at our sketch ribbon these are sketches we'll see in 2d elements so you have a line circle rectangle these other things are grayed out it works just like a uh, ribbon so I'm going to skip down uh, we have other ribbons, but they only activate it in certain views. <clears throat> so for the, the user interface, that's pretty much it, uh, except for a few more things here. We have our, our tools, manage tab, environments, this is get started again. We went through that and collaborate. So now what we look at next is our quick access toolbar. Or no, let's look at our file menu. That's pretty important. So we'll go to our file menu tab here. And this, this is where you select and open files. You look at your previous files and you're going to orientate them and whatever. All this is pretty much standard in all 
All of that's drawn probably the same as the riveting on AutoCAD. And then here we want to look at our quick access toolbar, which is here on the top. We have a file open menu, uh, generate, things of that nature. So that's all placed up here. And then we have, um, we're going we're gonna to arrange these. Just basically the same thing that you would do in um, Revit. And then here we can pull this little drop down. We can customize that over here. And then we'll go look here in our browse window. So our browse window, is, it shows our elements or our views and then different geometric uh, planes. And basically everything you'll basically see in your projects, very similar to Revit. And then down here below, um, we'll have our status bar which is ready sign, it'll show up like it does, does in Revit. And then over here to the far right, we have our navigation bar. This is our navigation bar here. And then these are view cubes. So I hit the home view and then you can select these corners and go to corner or right view. Basically the same as we've used in Revit. So, And we can go down here. We can select these views from the pull down. Uh, there's a lot of options here. Um, now next we'll look at um, shortcut menus and marking menus here. So if I, right, I do a right click, this is what we call a marking menu. So you can have your measure and your fillet. All of these are in our short, quick menus. And then we have a shortcut menu below. So that's pretty neat. And we'll get it more in depth into that once we go farther into our training for an uh, inventor. So at this point, um, Yeah, I like that. So you just do a right click and then you can pick up all of your menus and things. So let me go in here, file. Let's go and look at our options here. Now when you're on our options in, Auto De in uh, Autodesk Inventor, you'll have tabs here again. And then you have groups. It's going apart here. Well, let's look at general. So general will be startup. So this is just general information. Then we have our group settings and then our box second delay. These are all, of, I mean, we activate these tools in the vendor and it depends because it's the various uh, options which help you complete an operation or following so this is what I'm showing you here. And then you can close this guy out. So we can also we close this. And then we can customize our ribbon also here. So let's go on our tools. And this can be customized. Um, you go with tools, uh, customize. I'm sorry, tools, options, customize. There you go. So here you can customize your um, your ribbon by adding and this uh, by bringing things across. So you're gonna add, you know, just click it and hit add. I'm gonna leave it as default for myself because <laughs> I'm just learning this as well. And then next. Um, Yep, so we want to okay there. Now, I'm going to leave it there for the beginning of our beginning of our uh, inventor training.
So we just went over the user interface and some panels. So hey, thanks for watching this video. We'll continue on with more uh, inventor training. Have a good one and bye.